So good evening, everybody. You welcome to this week's Forex Market forecast for the 9th to 13th of September 2024, brought to you by Trading Pro Nigeria. So without taking so much of your time, let's get down to what we have. So Trading Pro currently, we are having our ATS Triumph Trade Contest. As you can see, the star price is 8,888. So you could head over to the page. It's in celebration of our eight years anniversary. So it's from 18th August to 20th September. So the next we're going to look at is economic calendar. Looking at next week, we have some high impact news, especially on Wednesday and Thursday. We have CPI for the US, GDP for the British pound, and monetary policy for the euro and unemployment claims on Thursday for the dollar index. So those are the major news we have for next week. So as always, we're going to start off with the Euro GBP, US 100, dollar index, Euro USD, GBP USD, gold, pound yen, and Euro yen. So looking at the Euro GBP, the Euro GBP is still down. It's still technically bearish, but the possibility exists that we might see a bit of a retracement next week. If we start off from the weekly time frame, the weekly has what looks like a bullish piercing pattern. So we might see a bit of a bullish run going into next week on this pair. So what that means is that before the continuation, so what that means is that you'll be watching this fair value gap here. So going into Monday, we might see a bit of a retracement and then a move to probably fill this fair value gap. So this pair is bearish as long as price remains below 85, 84.75. A close up, a close four hour above these highs will see a deeper retracement to probably 85.07 to 85.44. But this pair is still down. So what that means is that we might still see euros, euro weakness going into the later part of next week. So with the financing news coming up, we might see a retracement first before a continuation to the downside, depending on what the news has. So the next we're going to be looking at is the US 100 as NASDAQ. This pair for now is bearish. If you look at it for now, this pair is bearish. The weekly close as a long, bearish candle taking out all this fair value gap so which points to the fact that any retracement on this pair my c price try to feel this week my c price try to feel this week so if we go down to the daily time frame where price is there's a gap here if you notice there's a little gap here so if we move down to maybe the four hour time frame you wait for a retracement you need to see a retracement because if you look to the left, price is within this structure point here. So you need to see a retracement. As long as price stays below 1910.2.8, this pair will most likely continue to the downside. So for next week, US 100, possible bullish retracement Monday, Tuesday, with a continuation to the downside later in the week. The next we are going to be looking at is the dollar index. The dollar index for now bounced off a very significant level last week. If you look at it, this area, let's go to the monthly. It's going to be very, very clear on the monthly. You can see this area here and this massive order block here and fair value gap. So looking at this on the weekly, if you notice price tapped into this and hasn't closed below it. So we have a rejection there on the weekly. Going into the daily becomes clearer. This other block is in play. This other block and this low here as where well price is in play. Somebody is saying they can't hear me. Is anybody having audio issues? If you can hear me clearly, just comment. You can unmute yourself and comment if you can hear me clearly. Anybody else having audio issue? Okay, the person saying he can't hear me, you may need to log out and log back in. It might be from your end. So for this pair, most likely we're going to see a bullish move going into next week. Because you know we have um, 
CPI coming in on Wednesday. So first, there might be a little bit of a retracement. If this is to continue bullish, price must not close below 100.51. So the possibility is this, that we might see a bit of a retracement to probably fill this gap and continue into this zone here on the four hour. So if we go down to the one hour, it might become clearer. So this week here, price may try to fill it before continuing to the upside. So above 101.91, and then we might see a slightly higher run on price towards this four hour fair value gap here. So the next way we're going to be looking at is Euro USD. So if we have a bearish outlook, bullish outlook on the US 100, most likely we might be seeing weakness on the dollar, on the Euro USD. If you notice, this price broke below this down close candle, which served as another block. So price rallied into that area and this fair value gap on the daily and got rejected. So looking into this week, you'll be waiting for a retracement because if you look at where price is, price is at this last down close candle, which may push price up to fill this gap here. To fill this gap here. So as long as price does not go above 1.1150 on retracement, you might see price sweep into 1.1025 going into next week. So that's what we'll be waiting for going into next week. So probably Monday, Tuesday, retracement with a move lower going into Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. So the next pair we're going to be looking at is the GBP USD. The GBP USD didn't drop as hard as the Euro because of the Euro GBP's weakness. So looking at this pair, this pair may bounce higher than the Euro but this pair is going to be bearish once you get a close. If you go to the far time frame, the possibility is that you might see a retracement on this pair. But this pair is still slightly rich, but bearish once you get a move below 1.3086, then you're going to see lower prices. But if you don't see that, you'll be better off selling the Euro USD than trying to sell the GBP USD. So that's what we have for next week. The next thing we're going to be looking at is gold. Gold for now is mixed. It's in a range. Gold for now is mixed. It's in a range. Price tapped into this kind of like equal highs on Friday and dropped. So going into next week, um, we have this set of equal lows here. So for this pair, any retracement going into next week. So if we drop down to the one hour, we're going to see the range we're going to be looking at. So we're going to be looking at 1.2504 to possibly 2529 for retracement, rejection, and a move lower to sweep this equal lows here. Because you can see price rejected from these highs after sweeping it. So the next obvious target will be this flows. But if you look at this pair, you can see it's still range bound. So it has swept the upper part of the range as all this here, which means that we might be looking at price coming for the lower part of the range going into next week. So that's it for gold. The next pair we're going to be looking at is the pound yen. This pair too is still bearish. What you'll be waiting for is a little bit of a retracement going into the new week. We have this down up close candle. So we're waiting to see if price will tap into there, get rejected, then price will come in to fill this for our fair value gap first, then probably move down to 1.8449. Pound the end, bearish going into next week. Look to sell into rallies. The last but not the least is the Euro yen. The same view. Wait for a retracement into this up close candle here. A rejection there will see price come down to this fair value gap on the far. And with a weaker euro, if the pound start, if the yen starts showing strength, you'd be better off selling the euro than trying to sell the pound yen. So that does it for today. Thank you all for taking your time to attend and wish everybody a blessed and lovely Sunday ahead and a lovely trading week. So goodbye everybody and thank you.